Well, let me think. Hmm. Duh! It's low now. But what if someone before me didn't clear his tray? Then whose responsibility is that? Please don't find me! $300 fine is a lot. At this point, it's just not worth it. Um, well, I mean, it's a pandemic, man. You know, obviously, it's, it's, it's best for us to not, you know, have someone else clear up after our rubbish, you know, if, if we're dirty or whatever, we're sick and stuff, and then we leave it behind for someone else to clear or for the cleaners to clear. I think we should clear our trays because it's a great way to teach our young Singaporeans to uh, practice self-responsibility and good uh, hygiene. I think the rule is timely. Uh, considering that we are facing um, this COVID issue and uh, to maintain public hygiene is one of the measures. So I think it's a good initiative by the government. By returning our plates, it makes, the, it makes it more hygienic because there won't be any unwanted animals or insects. It's all about personal hygiene. We should definitely bust our tables and clear our trays because it's social responsibility. People all around the world do it and we should too. I think that we should clear our own plates as this will prevent animals such as birds from eating the leftover food left on our tray, especially in places such as hawker centres, which will result in a more positive dining experience for everybody. It's definitely common courtesy for the sake of other people as well. It's easy to do when you clean up after yourself for someone else. The next time you visit, your table is also cleaned up for you as well. I always put my tray away, not because the government will find me, but because we have a scary grandma and she raised us to have a good manners. Consideration, consideration, consideration. Consideration for the diners who come after you, but more than that, consideration for the cleaners who will have to remove all your debris. If we clean up after ourselves at home, why don't we just clean up after ourselves in public? It's the same thing. It's a Singaporean culture that we, we, we do that because we are brought up in that way. Why we are civilised people? Don't expect the uncle or the uh, ama, the cleaners, to come around and clear the trays for you. We actually managed to do this during our schooling years, during our education years in school. So why can't we do it outside of school and start to build up this habit all over again? We respect others and also make our environment cleaner and also the cleaning uncles won't be so tired. I think that mandatory tray returns both increases self-discipline and convenience to others. This is a small little gesture by, by each individual. It, it keeps the hawker center cleaner and more appropriate place to eat. It will be easier for the next person to take over my table and to have to clean my mess for me. It would uh, reduce the effort for the cleaners who clean the tables. Why you make the auntie work so hard? You think what? Your grandfather's hawker centre is it? Huh? If everybody cleans their own plates, then you won't have this issue anymore. It is a good start to encourage and build good habits of cleaning up after oneself at public places. Some companies have already started many years ago. IKEA is one of the good examples I can refer to. At IKEA, we are used to return tray without any complaining. This is also a nice uh, gesture for the next person who will use the table. It's creating a much safer environment for people to dine in at and also it creates a better working environment for the cleaners who are usually the elderly. Firstly, it's hygienic and secondly, it's much more spacious for the rest of the food consumers. Thirdly, it will not be a mess when other consumers are trying to dine in. Hmm, I think it's good. 